I think when we consider how brains structure and orient themselves to the world, we need to consider Hebb's law. That what fires together, wires together. So because you can achieve any goal or want by having money, money wires together with everything in the brain. It almost forms a sort of centralized hub from which all of their pathways branch from. And so I think our over-reliance on money as a concept dramatically affects how our brains encode information. And maybe even creates a sense of learned helplessness where we don't take action because we don't have money. But the rich have hordes of wealth because they understand how to turn a small amount into a larger one. Regardless of how much they start with, their skill is about turning one amount into a larger amount, and their goal is to acquire as much as possible. And some people are just better at acquiring this token. And the inherent rules of this token are, one, you can acquire as much of it as you want, and two, other people aren't supposed to be able to take it from you unless you give it to them. But if that's the way the token is supposed to behave, then the distribution of this token is just a result of those rules playing out. So instead, what might fix society and all the problems that we see is if there was a secondary token that was also required to have some level of success in society. A token that can't be hoarded. Instead of just assuming the distribution of this money token is the problem, and assuming if there was some sort of redistribution of wealth, all of our problems would be fixed, maybe we should rethink how that token behaves. Because the chances are that if there's a redistribution, gradually over time it's just going to return to its prior state. So maybe we should have another token which behaves differently and can't be hoarded.